Hello everyone, all you 6th graders out there. It is Thursday, September 2nd, or maybe it's Friday, September 3rd. Either way, happy Thursday. You Friday guys are really going to be surprised by that. Today you have the following things to do for science class. 1. Watch the video. 2. Fill out the document called Module E Classwork Thursday, Friday, and turn it in using the Turn In button. Guys, come on. We all know to submit work when it's done. It's the coolest way to have good grades. It's the best way to not have your teacher call you at the end of the day. Click the submit button. Turn in the work, please. I'm begging you. Think three. Think through the question at the end of module E classwork Thursday, Friday. I know your aversion for turning in work despite the fact that you need to do it. So the last question on module E classwork Thursday, Friday is literally just a thinking question. Think it through. Four, homework. Fill out your daily science journal located under classwork. All right, cool kids. You should be doing that every day. How many days? Every day, every weekday, you should do that. Enough said. All right, on to the good science book. All right, quiz question time. Guys, what did we learn about last time? Let's do a little review. Okay, last time and the previous times, we learned that cold air is more dense and sinks. Warm air is less dense and rises. You can see this warm air action when you've got steam over a pot that's boiling or smoke over fire. So remember those three things about warm air and those three things about cold air and it will help you to act together as a group. Act out the movement of air near a heat source. Assign roles to classmates and have each participant explain what is happening to them as they move close to and away from a heat source. Make sure you pay the millions of dollars. Oh, I was just checking to see if you guys were listening and looking. Gotcha. Okay. No, don't do this though. Acting is awesome and you should do it as often as possible, except when there's a quarantine. Those are the three great rules of acting. Remember them. They'll help you someday. Analyze winds. Air, land, and water have different properties because they are different materials. Mind blown. I just learned something. Oh my. One of the ways they are different is that land warms up and cools down more quickly than water does. You might not have known that, but it's definitely true. You probably knew it. Anyhow, so when the sun shines on both land and water, the land warms up faster than the water does. Ah, that is important. If you've ever run out on a beach um, in like mid-morning, you might have noticed the sand's really hot, but the water is not yet because the water takes longer to warm up. The atmosphere changes temperature more rapidly than either land or water does. This is important because the air, the atmosphere, it's right above the water and it's right above the land. And the sun uh, hits, the, hits the sand and what happens is the sand acts like a stove. goes ahead and warms up that air right above it. And the water acts like an ice pack that you put on your forehead. It goes ahead and cools the air down. Therefore, therefore, let's see what it's there for. The atmosphere is warmed or cooled by being in contact with land or water. That is different temperatures. Wow, that is amazing. Thing to remember here for what's coming up is that the air over water is cooler during the day. That's important. Let's look at why. <clears throat> Which statements are true about why wind tends to blow? Accents aren't working. Never mind. Which statements are true about why wind tends to blow from over the water, over the land on a sunny day? Choose all the statements that apply. Okay. A. Air over the water is cooled, it's cooler than air over the land is. Remember, it's during a sunny day, not during the night. During the night, it's different. Um, but during the day, air over water is cooler than air over the land is. That is true, because the water is cooling that air. Bam. The air above the land has greater density. Remember, we said that cold air is more dense and sinks. If the air over the water is cooler, then the air over the water is more dense. Therefore, B is false, not true. We will not click on it. C, the wind is caused by differences in density. That is true. I don't remember reading that up there. Maybe it did, but that is absolutely true. Um, and I've got a sweet picture that was in yesterday's slideshow that showed that, so true. Cool, dense air from over the water flows toward the land, pushing warm air upward. So this is kind of crazy. I gotta show you this, this picture, guys. Um, one moment. If you saw yesterday's slideshow, the final picture was this. It says final example, that's why. Um, but I threw this one in there because I noticed that we we're talking about um, air pressure and the way air pressure, differences in air pressure cause wind. Let me repeat that because that's important. Differences in air pressure cause wind. Um, 
some other things, as we'll learn with the uh, Coriolis effects, also help cause wind. But differences in air pressure cause wind. We've got our dense air over here, our not so dense air over here. Cold air, warm air. Cold air comes down, pushes the warm air, goes, warm air goes up, and as a result, we've got a wind going from the water to the shore. It's called the sea breeze. Then you've got a land breeze. This more happens more at night. What happens is this guy gets colder faster. This guy stays warmer longer. So then this air warms up, this air cools down, and as a result, land breeze. That way you can know which breeze, not fub breeze, sea breeze or land breeze. Remember that for this final question we've got. All right, so cool, dense air from over the water flows toward the land, pushing warm air upward. During the day, that is indeed true. The cool, dense air that's over the water flows toward the land, pushing warm air upward. That's what happens during the day. Click on that, bam, we can even check that. I'm just gonna talk in a super robotic voice. Air over the water is cooler and denser. As air over the hot land heats, it becomes less dense and has less pressure. The cool, dense air from the water flows toward the land, pushing the warm air upward. Wind is caused by these differences in density. Amazing job. Just amazing job. Great job, robotic voice. Are oh, you so right? Um, yes, well done. I feel good about those answers. When you check those answers off, you'll feel good about those answers. Um, but let's continue. Guys, I wanted to show you this in Modular Class for Thursday Friday. We're going to continue here. Did you know that not only did we give you these sweet questions, but also we went ahead and gave you a lab. Check it. It's a model. It's a modeling lab. Boom. With your teacher or at home, lay down some paper towels. Next, take a balloon out and blow it up. Tie it off and holding it by the nozzle, drip one drop of food dye or ink on it by the nozzle. Use enough so that it runs slowly down the side of the balloon. Spin the balloon in your hand and observe the path of the food, dye, or ink. Answer the questions below based on your observations. Guys, believe it or not, Julie and I did this today, and it was super awesome, so awesome, that I decided um, that I would edit it. But then my computer with editing software, it went ahead and died. So long story short, the video doesn't exist. Um, unless you guys magically all finish your work and you all say that you really want to see the video, then I just might show it to you because it's kind of a mess. Red dye went everywhere. But anyhow, you all need to finish your work for that. So shout out to you guys finishing your work in the future. Great job. But back to HMH. Explaining the circulation of air, the effect of Earth's rotation. How does wind feel as it blows across your face? Wind is made up of moving particles. Even though you cannot see these particles, they are matter. Wind is made up of moving particles. They are matter. Say that 10 times fast and everything in your life will go right from then on. I'm joking. I've tried it. It didn't work. But, you know, I've made it this far. Um, even though you cannot see these particles, they are matter. You also cannot feel or see the movement of Earth. Our planet spins on its axis as it moves through the solar system. This movement has an effect on matter in Earth's atmosphere. So the Earth, represented by the balloon, goes ahead and spins. And because the Earth spins, it has an effect on uh, the air particles which move and make up wind above it. So we want to model the effects of Earth's rotation on matter in the atmosphere. Um, I will put a video on the next slide of just that if I can find it. If not, once I have my charging cord, I'll hopefully throw it up there someday, sometime on Thursday, maybe. This photo shows what happens to a drop of ink when it is placed at the top of a stationary balloon. Look at how nicely it slid down. I wish that happened in our experiment. This photo shows what happens to a drop of ink that is placed at the top of a rotated balloon. I feel really mean talking to you guys about this experiment that you don't get to see unless you all finish your work. But you know, good things come to those who work really, really hard. That's, that's how that saying goes. Uh, collaborate with a partner, develop and use a different physical model to show how Earth's rotation you are actually not going to do that. We're just going to watch that, which will be awesome. All right. And that about wraps it up for today. Make sure that you watch the video. I will hopefully attach some video showing this experiment not done by Julie and I um, to the slideshow, but I'm still looking for it. So watch that video. Go ahead and fill out 
This is modular class work Thursday, Friday. Um, and then think about this question. And that will be it for the day. I want to wish you guys a happy Thursday once again, an awesome Thursday, a fantastic Friday, if you would. And uh, do you work? Because good things come to those who work. All right. Have a good one.